early history of the Sudan from 1500 to 600 BC. The present day Sudan was formerly called Nubia. After it merged with Egypt, it became the state of Kush. The land of Kush was ruled by the pharaohs of Egypt from 1500 to 1000 BC. During the time when the two kingdoms merged, Nubia was more influenced by Egyptian culture, government, language, art, and architecture. The pharaohs from Kush ruled Egypt between 751 and 671 BC when they were driven out by Asian invaders. The kingdom of Kush had two capitals, Napata and Mero. Napata became a center for trade in ivory, gold, leopard skins, and ostrich feathers. Mero was more agricultural, with many farmers growing sorghum, millet, and owning cattle. After 600 BC, Mero became increasingly more important and eventually the only capital of Kush. Thereafter, the economy of Mero shifted and iron smelting became more common, something that was not traditionally found in Egypt. Kush also developed and mass-produced painted pottery. Kushites in, Ma in Mero traded with Egypt, Arabia, Greece, and Rome, and the kingdom of Aksum, which is present-day Ethiopia. Mero was finally conquered by Aksum in 300 AD. The Mero pyramids in Sudan are located 200 kilometers from the Sudanese capital, Khartoum, on the east bank of the Nile River, near a group of villages called Bargawia. The Mero Pyramids name is derived from the ancient city of Mero, the capital of the Kingdom of Kush, and there are nearly 200 ancient pyramids built as tombs for the kings and queens of the Meriotic Kingdom, which ruled the area for more than 900 years. South Sudan, which was formerly part of the main Sudan, gained its independence from on 9th, the 9th of July 2011 as an outcome of the 2005 peace deal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.